Our next step tonight is to work out the area for each of our layers here. To do this we need to open up our attribute table. If we right click on the layer and come down to the open attribute table button it will open up the table. Our next step is we need to add a new field so that we can calculate our area. If we come to our table options and select the add field button we can then add a field related to area. We make sure it is a double because this is more versatile and will give us the response we need. And there is our area field. We now need to do the same process for the 2001 table and this time call it area 01 so we know that it is the area for the 2001. And we now have both of our tables. Now the next step to work out our area is we need to know the pixel size for each pixel in our layers. To do this, and we'll do this for the 91 layer, we right click on the layer, come down to properties and we come to the source tab. And in the source tab it will tell us the size of each pixel. And as we can see here, cell size, 104.8 meters by 104.8 meters. So this gives us the dimensions so we can work out the area of one cell. If you open up your calculator, you can enter the digits and work out how much the area is. So we now know one cell is 11,001 meters long. If we now come back to our attribute table and we'll start with the 91 layer, right click on the area 91 column or field and come down to field calculator. We can then put in the formula because we know how many pixels are there are for each land use. So if we go count multiplied by and if we type out area so 11, 1, 2, and if you refer to the handout and use that area, we are only going to one decimal place, and then we want to convert this to hectares, so we need to add a divide symbol and divide it by 10,000, because there is 10,000 square meters in one hectare. And then if we click OK, the area will automatically be calculated, and we now have our area. And then we need to follow the same process again for the 2001 field. Count multiplied by 11001.06 divided by 10,000 and OK. And we now have the areas for both of our layers. And that completes step two and you can now answer the questions on the handout.